I'm going to try and give a rather informal approach to what measure theory is or what a measure is to begin with. Okay, what a measure is. And I've got a map here of Germany. And let's say we want to find out the distance from, let's say, Berlin to Leipzig. And we know we only know the distance from Hanover to Leipzig and Hanover to Berlin, but going through Leipzig. So to get to, to Berlin, we go through Leipzig and through to Berlin. So let's say this distance here, that's, I don't know, 100 miles. I don't know whether it is, but we'll just say it. And this whole distance to Berlin, from Hanover to Ber through to Le Leipzig to Berlin, that's 180. So from this, how do we find the distance from Leipzig to Berlin? Well, it's just the difference, right? It's just going to be the, this difference. So 180 minus 100, so it's just 80 miles. Okay, as simple as that. Now, let's try and think of um, think of what a measure is mathematically. It's just a function, so we'll call it mu. Our function is mu, and each function, every every function needs an input. So instead of some value of x like f of x, we're going to use a set, some set a. Um, or, so what, what, what are some examples of a set? We could think of, I don't know, the real numbers. It could be the complex numbers, the rational numbers, and so on. It could, it could just be an arbitrary set, I don't know, minus 4, um, 12. That's just fine. All of these are valid sets to use, and it will re return a measure. So this has to be some number. A non-negative number it can't be negative because well think about this you know how 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 would this ever be negative the the distance of two places it, it can't be it has to be positive otherwise you're almost inverting on yourself so x belongs to the set zero infinity cool so let's think about this again, our example of Germany. How, how would we write this as a set? So we've got our function mu, and let's, well, we could write this as, what do we say? What do we say Dif the distance was? We had, so this is a, we can think of this, Leipzig, as a 100 miles from the origin. This is the zero point. And this is 100, so let's call this 100. And this, well, it's going to be 180. So the distance of this, the measure, is 8. It's 180 minus 8. And that's our first measure. This is the most simplistic measure we could think of. And how would we generalize this then? So we could just have any set, A, B, A, B, and what's the, what's the measure of this going to be? Well, it's just going to be B minus A, right? It's just going to be the, the difference between. And there we go. There's our first result. The measure of a one-dimensional set is the difference between the B minus A, and that must be positive, or non-negative. Can't be a negative one. So how would we extend this? How would we make this work for two dimensions? Okay, so what do we do? We just found out the length of a set. So what would it be for a two-dimensional object? So for example, a square. What what's what can we do with this? Well, we can find the area of it, right? So if we had 
this is 3, the length of that is 3, the length of that is 4. What, what can we do? We can find the area which is 3 multiplied by 4. It's 12. Now, going back to what we did before, well, we can think of we could think of, let me get a different colour, this as a set, right? Because we've just said this is the length. So why don't we just think of this as a set? And, and so let's call this AB. And this as well. This is another set, right? Let's call that C, D, yeah? And what do we do then? So we just multiply them together, right? So the measure of this is just going to be, so it's going to be B minus A as before, the measure of that set, multiplied by the measure of the next set. Just doing the same thing, the length of that times the length of that, and there we go. We've just found the measure, our second result, the measure of a two-dimensional set. Perfect. Okay, now, what's the next thing we do? Three dimensions, right? So, well, what would we have? We've got a cube, let's go for, go for a cube, and what, what have we done? So one dimension we did the length, two dimension we did the area. What about three? It would be volume, right? So what's the volume of a cube? It's just, well, if this is A, that could be A cubed. And yeah, we, we can think of this as a set then. We can think of A as a set. So I don't know, let's call the set C. It's just going to be... B minus A, all cubed. Okay? But we can't do this for all 3D objects. So another 3D object, a sphere. What's the, what's the volume of, of a sphere? It's just 4 over 3 pi R cubed. And how, how are we meant to do the same technique for this? We haven't got sides of a sphere. It, it just doesn't make sense. We've got to think of something a, a little bit more complicated, a little bit more clever. So next video, we're going to be discussing a more general approach. Given any set in any dimension, how we can find the measure.